Hello and welcome everyone to the walk around video here at your next car, the 2019 G20 330e M Sport. The vehicle is presented in mineral grey, features the YNT body enhancement kit alongside some very nice options. As with all of the vehicles here at your next car, it is physically in stock, ready to be driven away. There are no hidden extras. So as you see, this lovely example of the plug-in hybrid 3 Series is as you will purchase the car. You will see it is displaying a Northern Irish registration. So effectively, that is acting as a private registration for the car. That is the number plate the car will be sold with. So again, a nice effectively added bonus, but it is a 2019-19 registered 3 Series G20. If you are, of course, interested in this lovely plug-in hybrid, simply check out the description box after watching this walk around. That way you'll be able to see all of our prices and funding options available for this vehicle. You can also use our really simple finance calculator. You can apply directly from there or of course get in touch using WhatsApp, text message, telephone, email, all of the usual routes for any further information or of course help regarding a finance application or purchase of the car. Let's get back to talking about this vehicle then. It has got some great options, starting of which is the visibility package. That is the laser headlamps. You'll see very, very nicely at the front of the car then. Laser headlamps were designed for not only your benefit, but also the benefit of other road users. So not only are they up to 25% brighter than traditional LED or Xenon headlamps, they can also remain on their brighter setting without blinding oncoming road users. They do this via manoeuvring the beam pattern around oncoming obstacles. So again, not even other oncoming road users as well as general things in the road, i.e. road signs, sort of low hanging bushes, etc. you'll see on country lanes. So they can manoeuvre the beam pattern around those obstacles, giving you better and brighter vision. And at the same time, also not blinding oncoming road users, something we've all experienced whilst traveling around at night. So again, a great package to have on the car for your benefit and other road users as well. As part of the in-house enhancement kit, we fit in-house. You've got brand new 20 inch alloy wheels with four brand new tires, gloss black mirrors, warranty and performance decals, side sill extensions in gloss black. It's also got the premium package. So you've got a electric glass slide and tilt roof, which you can see I've got currently slid all the way back. We are gonna get a chance to look at the interior very shortly, but for now we're gonna focus on the exterior on this lovely three series. Sun protection glazing at the rear. And right at the back of the car, we've got the gloss black rear spoiler, 3D rear lights, 330E badges and then the factory twin exit exhaust with the gloss black rear diffuser. In terms of the car's plug-in hybrid abilities then, BMW have completely upped the specifications from this car's predecessor. But again, they've also remained nice and simple in terms of how to use it. So you simply plug it in using the provided charging cable, which again, we'll get onto more about that in a moment but you still have got a good usable size boot. Bearing in mind, you have got batteries and an electric motor on board this car. You have luckily also got the split folding seat function. So again, that makes up for the little bit of boot depth that you have to lose enabled to have those batteries on board the car. You've got features like front and rear parking sensors with a reversing camera. Your charge time is around about three to four hours from a fully emptied battery. Now that will vary on where you're charging it and how you are charging it, because of course there are now more and more ways to charge a plug-in hybrid or a EV vehicle. For the first time then, let's check out the interior of this car, one that is very unique indeed. As you can see, it is in this lovely light tan Venenskia leather. One I personally feel works very nicely with the exterior color. It's going to be nigh and impossible for me to get this and do it justice in the pictures or videos. It's just how the light hits it. But I think it is one of those colors that I think should you come and see it in person, you will feel it works very nicely. Indeed, you've still got a very spacious, very comfortable three seat Isofix rear bench there. And again, thanks to the rear sun protection glazing, not only can you store things in the back of the car, but also 
of course rear passengers are a bit more protected from the uv rays over the top then again thanks to that glass sunroof the interior does feel quite a bit lighter and of course inherently quite a bit more spacious thanks to that natural light coming in premium package does also include electric function and memory for the driver's side front seats both of them are also heated you have also got the lovely ambient lighting and just before we go back around so i can take a seat inside the car we're going to pop open the charging port so you can see that again it is a really accessible car in terms of how to get the best out of the hybrid capabilities the electrical range has also been upped quite largely it's now an estimated electric range of 37 to 40 miles of electric range which is very very good indeed pretty much bang on average for most people's daily commutes you'll be able to do it there and back without charging the car but of course the ideal situation would be travel to work on electric charge it up at work and travel home again on electric once again inside we've got the multifunction m sport steering wheel so you've still got fantastic features of that cruise control speed limiter voice and volume functions paddles for the sports auto gearbox you've got a live cockpit with the default map view which again you can change for your own preferences as is the same for the nav and media screen you can change a lot of this for your comfort and of course your preferences you can see we've got a thing called e-drive zone so this is where the car will automatically switch into electric providing it's got the enough battery electrical stored battery energy dependent on which cities towns that you select which is i think is a very very good feature and as i mentioned this screen is touch screen and it can be customized to your preferences you can add pages take pages away remove and add widgets as you see fit the nav system is by far the easiest and quickest to get to grips with very very good feature but you have still got an iDrive scroll wheel so don't worry if you don't like touch screen features if we check out the servicing status because of course we do still have a petrol engine on board we have to have some servicing two bmw services 14,000 miles so the next one is due current mileage is 16374 so good nice low mileage example and the last thing i want to show you will be the application center so you've got apple carplay and android auto you have got amazon alexa voice control and of course i'll show you the rear camera as well so again they really do not skimp out on the interior luxuries and features inside just because it is an e-drive does not mean that you don't want features like this in a car and if I press sport once again, you can see we have got a configurable sport mode, including the extra boost facility, which will give you the most out of both batteries and the petrol engine. So there is a look around another fantastic example of the G2330E M Sport. As I began with saying, please do check out the description box for more details. But from everybody here at Your Next Car, thank you very much. Do take care. Bye bye.